Two months back, a 34-year-old Chinese doctor warned the world about a possible virus outbreak in his country. The authorities dismissed him as a fearmonger and accused him of spreading rumors. Today, he stands vindicated. But unfortunately, the same infection that he flagged in December has now consumed his life. Li Wenliang's death was reported by the Wuhan Central Hospital a little after 3 a.m. local time in China. But now there is a controversy surrounding his death. State-backed Chinese media had already reported his death on Thursday, hours before it was confirmed by the hospital. Under pressure, China's anti-graft watchdog has ordered a probe into Li's death. The dis the Discipline Inspection Commission will visit Wuhan to conduct an investigative probe into all issues raised by the people. But what exactly is the controversy? Here's what many experts are saying happened. The initial report of Li's death led to a massive reaction on Chinese social media. People hailed him as a hero and even blamed the government for dismissing his claims on the virus back in December. And very soon, the state-backed media changed the narrative. They were now saying that Li was alive and being given ECMO treatment, a kind of life support. Hours later, they finally confirmed his time of death as 2.58 a.m. All the media agencies deleted their initial tweets, but this reaction from the World Health Organization sum up, sums up the confusion. WHO's representative Mike Ryan initially expressed condolences on Lee's death, but the world body later updated their statement saying they had no information on Lee's condition. Li Wenliang's story is a testament to how China tried to hide a major health emergency. He had written to fellow doctors about a SARS-like infection in December and urged them to take precautions so as to not contract the disease. What he got in return was condemnation from the authorities. He was asked to sign a letter which accused him of making false statements. And then on the 10th of January, Li contracted the disease from a patient he operated on. From his hospital bed, Lee revealed that the outbreak could have been controlled better had the government been proactive. The death of Dr. Li Wenliang has galvanized the Chinese public to a large extent. People are demanding the truth behind Lee's death and the reason why state-backed media was so confused on the issue. Do the grief was most visible on Weibo, which is a social media website like Twitter in China. It was the most read topic on the website with over 1.5 billion page views. The circumstances behind his death were also discussed on WeChat, which is another popular mobile application in China. People are deeply hurt by Li Wenliang's death and they are channeling it towards the government. It's a race against time to find a cure and a vaccine for the novel coronavirus. Different medical teams and pharma companies are vying with each other to come up with a cure. A team of doctors led by an overseas citizen of India, Professor S.S. Vasan, has successfully grown a batch of the NCOV virus outside of China. These lab-grown novel coronaviruses can now be used for preclinical trials to find a cure at the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization in Australia. Just last week, researchers at Australia's Doherty Institute had managed to isolate the novel coronavirus from a human sample. Confirming the development, Professor S.S. Vasan, who leads the dangerous pathogens team, said, and I quote, We thank our Doherty Institute colleagues who shared their isolate with us promptly. It is quicker to work with. 
the real virus to expedite preclinical studies on the relative efficiency of vaccine candidates under development. Unquote. Developing the virus within the laboratory claimed Professor Vasan was essential in scaling up the vaccine antigens being developed by the University of Maryland. Now, he has in the past worked on developing medication for dengue, chikungunya and Zika. Earlier, a group of doctors in Thailand had claimed that they were close to finding a cure for the deadly coronavirus infection. They had administered a cocktail of antivirals given in the case of flu and HIV to a patient infected by the novel coronavirus who had shown signs of recovery. But there is no proven cure for the novel coronavirus at this point of time.